Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I want to make a channel update video in which I talk about future plans of my channel as well as giving shout outs to my moderators as well as thanking everyone who super chatted, supported me through channel memberships and Patreon in the previous month. So starting off here, I want to thank my community moderators. I wanted to thank my friend Philip7715. He is no longer moderating, but I want to thank him again for his help in the past. And I want to thank TBH82, Vago6423, Saucer Catch, Cop Killers, and Overboard. And I also want to thank my channel moderator Saucer Catch, TJ Lever, and Fernando Martinez. Thank you guys for helping me to moderate my community as well as to helping me moderate my stream chat. I do greatly appreciate it. And I also wanted to shout out my two friends here, Chash Saruni and ZD3 Snipes. Take a look at their channels down below. I will link their channels as well as my moderators channels. Thank you guys for your support and help with my channel and my community. I greatly appreciate it. So starting off here, I wanted to clear one big thing up and I've noticed some people that have been saying that I quit GTA or that I stopped playing GTA. This is just nonsense. I've taken a break from GTA and I want to expand into other content. The reason that I've taken a break from GTA is because I got so burnt out from the game. I got burnt out from it because I had covered pretty much everything that I can think of and I played the game so much and I did so many videos on it. I'd done all the money guides that I can think of, I've done all top fives that I can think of, I've reviewed pretty much every special vehicle, there isn't really much content left for me to do, and I didn't, I didn't want to be seen as milking the game. So I decided to try to expand into other content, I wanted to do other things, make other play other games that mean a lot to me. And I wanted to attract new viewers. I wanted to attract people that would find my other content because I was thinking to myself that if you know, if I'm still doing YouTube a year or two from now, I don't want people to look go on my channel and the first thing they think of is, oh, that's the guy that does GTA. I want people to look at my channel and say, oh, he plays GTA, he plays Red Dead, he plays a bunch of different games, he does gaming news. I want people to see that my channel is diverse, that I do a bunch of, a bunch of things. I don't just play the same game constantly. So I kind of wanted to get away from that, take a break from GTA, and do other content. It's as simple as that. So, you know, the people that are saying that I quit GTA, it's just nonsense. When the next GTA update comes out, that's when I will do videos on it. So whenever this next update comes out, you know, this largest update, whenever that is, I will do videos on that. But until then, I want to take a break from GTA and play other games that, you know, hold a special place in my heart and mean a lot to me. I'm not getting as much views as on my GTA content, and a lot of people keep telling me that, but I obviously know this. And I know this, and it doesn't bother me a lot. I wish that some of my other content would get more views. I'm not going to deny that. But in the end of the day, I'm not going to simply go back to making GTA videos just because my new content uh, has less views. I'm going to stick with it and keep expanding. And my new content is growing and getting more views. And I really have fun, and I enjoy doing it. So that's basically clearing up that um, big confusion. People are spamming me for GTA. There's nothing for me to do on GTA right now. And if I did make, you know, a GTA video or if I did stream GTA, what would happen is that video would get the most amount of views in the week and that video would pretty much um, uh, trample all of my other videos in that week and the algorithm would not be as likely to recommend my new content. So that's why, you know, you don't really see me making GTA videos or GTA streams. I have plenty of content for Red Dead. That's no problem. And I'm also excited for the Mansion DLC. So I have Red Dead videos planned, plenty of new walkthroughs. Um, I'm wrapping up. Watch Dogs and Mafia. I will be playing Star Wars Squadrons. That comes out October 2nd, I believe. So I'll be playing Star Wars Squadrons. I will do a walkthrough of that. And then later in October, we'll be doing Watch Dogs Legion. And we'll also be playing the Dark Pictures Little Hope. All games that I'm really excited for. So I'm really excited to bring you guys new content that means a lot to me. And I ask that if you haven't checked out my new content, to give it a chance. Because I'm trying to do new things and trying to get you know people active in that. And trying to attract also new viewers with that. But I am having a lot of fun. And... No matter, you know, how much views my new content gets, I'm still going to do it. So I do what I want to do on this channel, you know, regardless of the amount of views that my content gets. If I do, if I want to do something, if I enjoy doing content, I'm going to do that content regardless of the views. And I wish more YouTubers would do this, that they wouldn't just do videos that gets the most amount of views. Do what you enjoy, do what you're passionate about. And if people did that, YouTube would just be a much better place. But that's pretty much it for this channel update video. So I'll be having plenty of new games coming up, doing some walkthroughs, some gaming news, and some Red Dead content. I'll do GTA videos when, um, when a new DLC comes out. But until then, I want to take a break from that and expand to new content. So I want to thank everyone again for your support. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.